welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Hey, my dear parents! Okay, this is Teacher I again. So, I know some of you are having struggles in teaching your children about the uh, rounding off. Okay, so in rounding off, it's necessary for our children to know first the place value like this. Okay, so they should know that... Uh, for the units, there's ones, tens, hundred, and for the thousands, we have thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousand place value, and so on and so forth. So, it's okay. I'll show it this way. Ayan. So, you could see it. So, the, so this this uh, place value is prerequisite, okay? It's necessary as we uh, teach our children the rounding off. Okay. So, in rounding off, I simplify something so that uh, our children would easily understood or would easily do the rounding off numbers. So, uh, first, I always ask them to underline. Okay? So, you, they have to underline first the number to be round off. Okay, there. And then, after that, they have to put an asterisk to the number at the right of the underlying number okay or digit okay. so let's put it here so you would uh, easily read it and then we need to remember that the number with an asterisk will, will help us determine if we need to add one or retain the underlying digit number why because if yeah, and if number with an asterisk is 0 to 4, you have to retain, retain the underlined number. But if it's 5, but if the number with an asterisk is 5 to 9, you have to add 1 or plus 1 to the underlying digit or to the underlined number. Okay, so let's go, let's go. Ayan. So, you can still see it? Okay. So, oops. There. Ay. So, the, this is the direction. Round off the number to the um, place value being asked. So, we have the 85,467 to be round off first to the nearest hundreds so we need to locate the hundreds number okay so i'll open this one first okay so where is the hundreds number so we have ones tens hundreds so it's here so let's underline the round of the, the number to be round off there and let's put an asterisk to the right so this is the right okay there so this is the under the number to be round off the nearest hundreds and this is the um the asterisk number so which is six is under the add one so you have to add one so four plus one equals five so if you're correct it's five here okay sorry hindi na so sulat wait Okay, so they have 5. And let's change the 6 and 7 to 0. So how many zeros? Is the, there are 2 numbers. Let's change it to 2, 0. So 1, 2. So let's change 2, 0. So 1, okay, for a while. There. So I already changed this to, to 0. So this is 1, 2. So instead of, instead of writing 67, and change them to 0. So 2, 0, and then... I will copy the other number here. So the 85, I will just copy it. Okay, so copy 85. 
there. So if you are going to round it off to the nearest hundreds, it will give you 85,500. Let's go to the nearest, uh, next question, nearest 10,000. Okay, let's locate for the 10,000. Once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. There, it's the eight that we're going to round off. Okay, there. And let's put an asterisk to the number five. Okay, there. So it's five. Let's locate. So five is add one. Add one to eight. So eight plus one is nine. You're correct. It's nine. And then let's change the 5, 4, 6, and 7 to 0. So how many zero? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 4. So let's write 1, 2, 3, 4. There. So it means that when we're going to round off to the nearest 10,000, it will give us 90,000. See? Okay, let's continue. Nearest thousands. Okay, let's look for the thousands. Go, go, go. Okay, so ones, tens, hundred, thousands. So it's in the five. Let's underline five. And let's put an asterisk. So we let's underline five and let's put an asterisk to four. So four. Four is the asterisk number. Let's see. Zero to four, retain. So it means you have to retain five. So it will, it is the same, so only 5, do not add anything, so 5. And let's change 4, 6, and 7 to 0, so it becomes 0, so how many zero? 1, 2, 3, so 1, 2, 3, and let's copy five, 8. So therefore, if you are going to round off to the nearest thousand, it will give us 85,000. Okay? Now, what if we have this? Okay. We have the instruction. It is round of the following. Okay? So, the underlying number is 2. And let's put an asterisk to 8. Ayan. So, there. So, we're going to um, look at first if it's retain or add one for the eight. So eight belongs to five to nine, which is add one. So it means we're going to add one to three. So, I told two rather, sorry. So two, so two plus one equals three. So it's three. And let's change 8, 8, 7 to 0. So it will give us how many zero? 1, 2, 3. So let's 1, 2, 3. And let's copy this number. So it's 4, 3. So it means when you have to round off this, it will give us 433,000. Now, let's go to number 2. This one is, the underlying number is 5. And let's put an asterisk there. I put already an asterisk to 4. So, 4, it means retain. So, do not change 5. Do not change 5. Okay. There. And how many numbers are there in this part? 1. Two, three, four. So we're going to change two, four, zeros. Okay, so one, two, three, four. There. So is it four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then let's copy nine. Okay, there. Okay, so it will give us 950,000. Okay, the next number 3, the underlying number is 3, and the asterisk number is 9. So, okay, okay, 9 is add 1. So, plus 1 to the underlying 3. So, 3 plus 1 equals 4. Okay? And then, change the asterisk numbers to 0. 
only one zero because there's no other number here. So it's only one asterisk with that, okay? So only one zero. And then let's copy five and one. Five and one. There. So it means that if you are going to round off that number, it will give you the 5140. Let's go to number four. So the underlying number is 8 and the asterisk number is 4. And 4, we know that 4 you have to retain. So it's number 8 should be retained. You have to just copy. If it is retained, just copy it. And then let's change this asterisk number and the other numbers to 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 1, 2, three four five okay so there that's how are you going to answer the rounding off if the instruction or the direction is like this okay so there okay i do hope my dear parents you learn from this video of mine okay so if you have some question feel free to uh, comment or just uh, put your comment below so i could read and i could help you also that's all and thank you very much for watching so don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell button so that you will be notified if i have some new videos thank you god bless